Continuing our series on hydraulic actuators, let's take a look at a ram type cylinder. So again, this is another example of a single acting cylinder. And we know it's a single acting cylinder because it only has one work port. Now we know it's a ram type cylinder because the rod itself is also the piston. And so this seal right here is the O-ring seal, and sometimes you'll see them with an O-ring seal and a plastic backing ring, and that backing ring would be on this side to prevent that O-ring from being pushed past this small groove here. High pressure oil has an amazing way of just slicing apart O-rings. And then we see again another dust type seal to prevent any contamination from getting into the cylinder. The simple operation of this cylinder is that we send hydraulic oil into its work port. It creates enough force by pressure being built underneath the surface area of the rod and the entire rod acts as the piston and is able to travel until the O-ring snaps or bumps against the housing. To retract then, all it is is that this oil is directed back to tank through the directional control valve and gravity or the load is able to retract the ram. This is a very simple, cost efficient cylinder. It just has some limitations in its ability that it doesn't have any pulling force and it has some limitations in its overall force generation due to the pressure limits of having such a very simple seal and not a really high pressure seal there. Some of you will see these type of ram type seals or ram cylinders used on portable presses and they still are able to create quite a large amount of force because they use a high pressure seal in there. To service these you actually get into the back side right there and you can see that the snap ring is accessible right there. You can see the end of the snap ring is just accessible. I'll just turn it so you can see the end of the snap ring. And what you can actually do is get on it with a seal pick or a, or a screwdriver and you can actually see I'll walk or I'll start to walk that snap ring off. So you can just sort of pick it off and then as you do that if you rotate the cylinder at the same time that snap ring will actually pop right off and you'll be able to pull the ram type cylinder right out of its housing. It's quite simple to repair. You're just going to install new seals. You're going to install a new uh, lip seal extrusion type or dirt seal on the outside here and then what you can do is simply lay this vertical make sure your snap ring is sitting lightly on the ring and you'll let gravity do the job pull that cylinder back down and you may have to give it a tap and just to seat that snap ring into place and then you'll want to extend it by hand not using air pressure but mechanical force so as to not shoot this thing across your shop but you'll want to pull it and make sure that it bottoms out at the end and doesn't pull past the snap ring. 